Hi guys, welcome into another video on my channel. Today we are going to be playing another beautifully drawn cozy story game called Fayboro, and it's basically a game where you are this girl in a world of fairies and you go back to your old hometown after you got a phone call from a childhood friend. But when you arrive, when Beatrice arrives at this hometown, turns out that her friend is mysteriously missing and the goal is to find out whatever happened to your childhood friend and it has adventure it has mystery it has a visual no novel kind of feeling i love the fact that there are fairies involved and everything and i can't wait to get started on this little little cozy story game to be honest so let's go and see what it's all about. Fayboro, let's see, let's see what's going on. Dearest Beatrice, this time I'm not just asking you to come back solely because I miss you, but because I need your help. I think I have finally discovered something in relation to what happened to Ernest all those years ago. Although, I am afraid I am running out of time. I will explain everything in detail when you get here. Be careful who you trust when you arrive. Please make haste. Agnes. I'm guessing that's the friend that we lost or who's missing. Strange to be back, isn't it, Beatrice? Lou. Oh, Lou is the little fairy. Okay, okay, I see. Oh, everyone has a little fairy with them. Ah, oh, with red hair like that, you must be Miss Arkwright. Good evening. Agnes mentioned you were coming. Asked me to see you arrived safely. My name's Stan, milkman by morning, postman by day, barber at tea time, and officer by night. This man is doing a lot of mis is doing a lot in one day, isn't he? It's a pleasure. School, was it? I'll take you. That's very kind. It's no problem at all. Off we go. Oh. Hey, <laughs> Miss Arkwright. Beatrice will do it. Eh? Miss Arkwright? Hush. Please don't make fun of me, fairy. There's a lot of, like, space, isn't there? Welcome home. I'll head back to the square. My fairy gets to sleep for the both of us. I don't know why I said, Welcome home! In such a happy voice. Toodaloo. Night, Miss Arkwright. Bye. Oh? This looks more like a library than a school at the moment. Oh, I can't go in there. Oh, I thought that was a door. It's not a door. Oops. Oh god. It's, this is a big staircase. I would be so goddamn tired climbing up and down that staircase. You have no idea. Oh. Beatrice! What a pleasant surprise. What brought you home all of a sudden? I was not notified of your coming. Not to worry. Do come in. Is that our, like, is that, like, the school director? It looks like it with the fairy. Look at the old man fairy next to him. My apologies, Beatrice. Although surprised, I am pleased to see you. It's been a long time. You look well. I hope they're treating you all right at the university. They speak highly of you in their letters. Which, I must say, raises the question. Why are you here? Surely you have plenty to keep you busy. I'm just visiting. Well, it's good to see you. Make yourself at home. Agnes will be ecstatic to see you. She often pesters me to ask you back. Of course she understands how important your studies are. I'm sure it'll be alright for you to stay in your old room with Agnes tonight. Your bed is still free. She won't let me put any new students in there. Thank you for visiting. It truly is good to see you. Good night. I hope Agnes is along soon. Can I go up here? No. I'm guessing this is our bedroom. Agnes isn't there though, but there's a lot of paper on the wall, dear lord. Agnes has been busy. Are you alright? You look kind of peaky. It's odd being back after so long. Don't worry, I'm sure Agnes understands you are busy. She's not the type to hold it against you. Come on, maybe we can shed some light on her letter by taking a look around. Well, she's been doing a lot of investigative work. Hey, this letter is addressed to us. What does it say? 
Beatrice, the eclipse is almost upon us. What I mentioned about those tight-lipped intellectuals goes deeper than I had imagined. Literally, Beatrice, if this is the last letter, Ernest is... Oh, it stops so suddenly, definitely mid-sentence. And it's even more confusing than the one she sent us. She says it's the last letter, but we've only got one more. And she says she's mentioned things she completely hasn't. There must be more letters. I think it's safe to assume there are. She must have been about to write something about Ernest. And the ink is all dry. She got distracted? Not inconceivable knowing her. But she makes it sound so important. Can that really be it? Maybe she was interrupted. I suppose she could have stepped out, but why wouldn't she come back? The ink has all dried up. She isn't here. I'm afraid that might be the case, though. The professor seemed adamant she'd be along shortly. Well, now we know there's a missing letter from her. When she comes back, we can just ask her in person, right? Let's see if we can find more before we hit the hay. The three of you look so happy. Agnes must really cherish that memory, too. You haven't mentioned Ernest in a long time. Agnes really took his disappearance with a ferocity. I've got nothing to feel guilty for. People grieve in different ways. I was about to say, what three? Like, is there a person we're not mentioning, but they meant Ernest, okay. A funny looking badge. Looks like a homemade military position. It's pretty poorly drawn, but must be sentimental or she wouldn't put it on her coat. She's as cool as ever. Let's see if we can find more before we hit the hay. Oh, I picked it up. Okay. Oh, and we have the picture? Ernest's 10th birthday with Agnes and me. What has she found? Five years ago, this seemed like an obsession. A face. Can't wait to see her. Okay, so this is like our little journal. Where we have all our little evidences, I guess. Wow, these are very detailed. No idea what the symbols mean, but it definitely looks important. I bet this has something to do with what she's discovered. It's late. Let's go to back. Agnes won't mind if we use hers, will she? Let's go to sleep. I like the art a lot. It's very cute. It's very fairy tale like Arise, arise, for every shadow flies. Agnes isn't here. You're right. Oh no, I wonder why. And with that unfinished letter? What now, Lou? Excellent question, Watson. No reason to panic. Let's think. Lachlan seemed pretty sure that Agnes would be here to meet us. Perhaps we should ask him if he knows why she hasn't come back yet. You've collected a few of the things you found here in your journal, haven't you? If you need to remind yourself, open it up and take a look. Now, quick march to Lachlan's office. Up to you, quick march. We're going to quick march. Oh, look out then. We've been made. Split. That was weird. Are we going to follow him or... Oh, the door closed on its own. Where'd he go? Let's go outside. Let's go to the town and see if we can find anything. Oh, there's a kid here. Ugh, that Herbert is so annoying. I'm telling Nanny. Bright green eyes, you must be Miss Arkwright. Professor mentioned you'd come back. You're a lot prettier than I expected. Thanks? I honestly wish she could run a bit. I don't have patience, so... Ooh, I think we made it. You're under arrest. Alright, you got me. What do you want? I'm looking for Agnes. If you mean Agent Foxtrot, haven't seen her in days. As a matter of fact, I was looking for her myself. And I found you instead. I like this little fairy. She looks like the Mad Hatter, kind of. Nicked any letters? From Agent Foxtrot? I'd never... I was just... Just checking if she'd come back or not, that's all. Tell back from where? Wouldn't you like to know? You could be anybody. An imposter or something. You've not done nothing to prove nothing, and I didn't do anything to the postman, neither. Looks like we'll have to earn his trust for him to spill the beans. What should we do? We'll leave him for now. Oh, morning, Miss Arkwright. Sleep well, did you? Yeah, yourself? I'm okay, yeah. Okay, maybe not completely. Some lad keeps nicking my stuff. I can't work like this. Took the milk, my deliveries, even my bloody hat. Any letters for me? Wouldn't know now. They're gone. I don't think he would have hidden too far from here. But I did see him run down that alley by the... 
Apothecary. Apothecary? Apothecary. The medicine shop. Oh, oh, okay, they did that nicely. They did that nicely, okay. I see. Hey! It's Tan's milk. Today will be remembered as the day the Faberro townsfolk poured ale in their oats. And a cleaver. Gosh, the butcher is really rather careless. Some of the bottles are broken. Herbert is a menace to society. I like him. Let's get this back to Stan once we've found the hat and the liveries. Well, what are these, like, mushrooms? What have you got there? A key? Skeleton key. Doors everywhere, quiver in fear of your newfound might. Maybe. Where do you think this well leads? Another world? A world of only mushrooms and damp bottoms, no doubt. Can I pick up that key? I guess I can't. A mirror? Odd place to leave a broken mirror. Okay, and I can't pick any of them up, so that's interesting. That's his hat. Well, that's sorted. Not to find the rest. Hmm. Guess I can't go in yet. Now, those are the letters. Good job. Let's get them back to Stan with the rest. So maybe the key is for that door, I'm guessing? That's everything. And your lightsaber. Thank you, Beatrice. Now, what have we got here? Ah, this one is for you. Here you go. It's a letter from Agnes. What does it say? I'm writing you again to underline the urgency of my discoveries. Hawthorne School's founders were a secretist group of scholars. I believe they might have built a school as a cover-up for greater research. Someone appears to know what I'm up to. It's scary. They've been covering their tracks, but that only makes me more sure of myself. You must not miss the first train home. This could be bad. Listen, Beatrice, now that you've got something conclusive, you can come you can talk to me anytime, and we can try and puzzle it together. I reckon this letter will also open up some possibilities with other people. So don't worry if we can't figure it all out right away. We might just need to talk to the right people. Just press Q and we can connect the dots together. Want to see what you can piece together? Let's try. Okay, 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 I like this. Let's outline what we know. Then you can figure out what's missing. This collar. Must be those tight-lipped intellectuals she was writing about. Where do they fit into her disappearance? The stalker. Right, according to this letter, Agnes thought she was being watched, and you think it could be one of the scholars. It appears we'll need more than this to come to any conclusions. See if anybody knows more. Oh? <gasps> I thought that was a parrot, but it's a fairy. Hello, dear. Found the book you're interested in? This is from Agnes. She wrote to you, did she? Let's see here. Oh. Well, this is a little alarming, isn't it? How can I help you? Who are the scholars? I'm afraid I do not know exactly, but there are stories. Vapor is an old town. It is said it was built on magic soil, no doubt sparked by the mushrooms you find here. There are tales of a group of ancient academics building their libraries under the soil of Hawthorne ground. I believe this refers to Hawthorne School. I've often wondered why such a grand place exists all the way out here. To protect or even hide piles of ancient texts? Now that would be exciting. What kind of research? You know what questions to ask. However, I cannot give you a definite answer. The legends say the scholars came to favor over something. Something that is beyond understanding. I read once it was a gate. Some say it was a hole. Others say it was a door. But they all said it led somewhere where none return. Thank you. The scholars really existed and they really did hide things under the school. I think whatever they found must be fascinating beyond compare. You're welcome, dear. Whatever I can do to help. I hope she's okay. Um, it sounds like the well is actually like a way to the place. What do you want? This letter's from Agnes. Yeah, I hate to admit it, but that has to be from her. Alright, so she does know you. That means you're one of us. Welcome to the Brewing Bandits. We're a covert group of private investigators in Fabro. You're our third member. You can be Ancient Ginger Biscuit. I'm Ancient Yellow Flash. Ginger Biscuit? 
get used to it, newbie. In this business, there's no telling the danger and using our real names. Right. Where's Agnes? You mean Agent Foxtrot? That's your first warning, Ginger Biscuit. I received my last report from Agent Foxtrot three days ago at 6 p.m. Moments before she went to speak with the professor. And as far as the intel I've gathered, that's the last time anyone saw her. She was talking about someone she knew. Maybe an old friend? Ernest? Ernest? Wasn't really listening. But not even a professor is giving anything away. Most suspicious, if you ask me. She didn't come out? That's the strangest thing. She never came back. There's no other way in or out of that room. Thanks, Yellow Flash. So, she talked to the professor last about Ernest, and now she's gone. Um, let's connect some dots. Okay, so, in the professor's office. Agnes was last seen in the office. Ms. Lackless, it remains to be seen. We can't assume anything yet, but this office is a good place for us to start. We're going to have to figure out a way to sneak in there. If only we knew what it was we were looking for. The gate. We don't know much about that yet. Besides, that's just Vegas' as speculation. If we find something more conclusive in his office that relates to this, then maybe it'll lead us somewhere. Archives. Doesn't that sound very likely to you? Secret knowledge. He loves that kind of thing. And the entrance is in... His office. There's gotta be a hidden entrance. Either she did it, Agnes must have gone to the archives. Oh! Oh! Now that we're looking for a secret entrance, all we need to do is sneak in and find it. Ask Herbert. Yeah, he's our man, but he's done it loads of time. Let's see what he can come up with. Okay. I saw that little anime glasses push up. Tell him the plan B. So you need to sneak into the professor's office, do you? Well, he came to the right person. As it so happens, I'm somewhat of an espionage professional. What we need is a distraction. Is that so? Sneaking into Professor's office. How daring. What? How? But no, I mean, why would we want to go in there? I know what kind of ruckus you cause, boy. Agnes is missing, no? I'd like to find her as much as you. She hasn't stopped by in a while, and I've been worried. I see. You must be part of an external bureau, bureau of investigation. Is Lou the only fairy who speaks? Because the other fairies are not speaking whatsoever. Guess you can temporarily join our super secret infiltration scheme. So then, what's the distraction plan, Agent Ginger Biscuit? A game of cards? I don't know about cards, but I've heard he plays chess. I'm not too shabby myself. I could be your distraction. Brilliant. You never suspect that. All you need to do is sneak in and find where Agent Foxtrot went. I'll sneak in with you and help you find the clues you need. See you on the front, Agent Biscuit. Oh, oh, the way he just flew away. So quiet in the school. Where is everyone? Operation Checkmate is afoot. Vegas got him absorbed on the mezzanine, but stay out of his direct line of sight. Hold control to stay sneaky in places that are risky. Best of luck, Agent Biscuit. Oh, up there. Okay, okay, okay. I have a feeling I might be over here. Here we've got La Chambre du General, the point of apex in the fantastic tales of Cowboy Kevin. Honestly, with the amount of books on the shelf, the secret exit is as secure as can be. Let's look somewhere else, unless we have no, no alternative. Go on, Beatrice. You've got a matsy brain. What does it mean? No clue. I thought you know for sure. You always ace maths. Come on. We won't find anything with equations you don't understand. Don't make a sound. I would think it's here. This kind of looks like a door. Doesn't it? Am I stupid? Those scrolls look authentic. Okay. Hey, Beatrice. Honestly, I thought you'd have grown out of sneaking around. Dear me. Off you go. Oh, so he saw me and I have to continue. The fireplace! What did she just- was there a lever? Honestly, that's pretty cliche. Oh, okay, so we have to find the lever. Okay, okay, okay. Sneaky sneak, I can sneaky sneaky sneak. Okay, there we go. I made it. Ooh, this is pretty. This is beyond anything I expected. 
Vega wasn't understating libraries under the soil. How much research? How many old texts? Let's take a look. Right, of course, this makes me very uneasy. I like the crystals. I like the purple glow on the dark. Here they've outlined a fairy transition into the other world. Beatrice, I don't like this. I'm guessing Agnes went to the other world, or Ernest went to the other world. Or Agnes and Ernest went to the other world. A dimension beyond human perception. The physical manifestation of conscious thought defines fairy matter. Being in a place like this gives these texts an alarming authenticity. What if they turned into fairies? What if they became fairies on accident? Or not on accident, but... What have we got here? The fairy human bond is one that has mystified modern science for generations. Over years, we have gathered the pieces of the lost true forms society. Now their secret is within our grasp. They are one where we are split. Their fairy was a part of them in harmony with their mind. This form is not beyond us. It's a perfect fusion it made. Is made. It may be the end of the human species and the beginning of a more whole being. Do you think Agnes knew all this? There's some drawings too. Quick, slip them in your journal. I don't think this is an elaborate joke. It's like we finally found... <gasps> I should have known. Did Herbert have something to do with you getting in here? Oh no. No doubt Agnes put him up to it. This place is older than the school itself. The building was built above to conceal what they found. It became an institution to spread our knowledge and a guard to the precious dangers of this information. I don't know what you've seen already, but I'm sure you've gathered a rough picture. Faber is the home of a portal to another world, Beatrice. The gate lifts, lies deep down these tunnels. Oh, when you arrived, I knew it was time I addressed this. I'm sure Agnes knew that. Eleven years ago, Ernest fell down the well from up in town. And landed here. His fall broken by my papers and books. I told you that that well had something to do with it. Him and his fairy, Orly, stepped through the gate, not knowing what it was. Agnes believes he is somehow still alive. But Beatrice, no matter what she may say, he is not. Why not tell us? You and Agnes were so young. The trauma of losing your best friend was enough without the mystery of how it happened. I could not bring myself to add confusion to already grieving and shocked children. What happened to him? Well, when I saw the scattered papers and books, I rushed down the halls to catch who it might have been. I saw him. He turned to look at me on the threshold, and he was gone. What about Agnes? She never believed me. She's too sharp. She's been obsessing over it ever since. And all the while, never trusting me. Of course I shouldn't have expected her to. I failed her. I failed you. I had foolishly waited for the time Agnes would give up hope. But now she has gone through the gate not knowing the dangers of that realm. You know as well as I do that she is far too stubborn to listen to my advice. But you. She'll listen to you. Then it might still be time to save her. And by that look in your eye, I'd wager your debt set on bringing her back. I will go myself, but I have to protect the other children here at the school. Someone has to keep Herbert, Albert, from coming down here too. So we're going through the door, I'm guessing. Is there something wrong with this place? What a strange sound. Are you sure you want to do this? We have to. You're right, I'm sorry. It's just something about this place feels broken. But that's not it. Absent. What if we lose our little fairy fairy pal? Oh, what portal do we go through? The first? Just go straight through the first one. You know, are we back at the start? It's easy to get lost in these tunnels. Okay, so it's not that one. Left. Right. Nope. It's right, left, left. 
Oh, where there's more mushrooms on the floor. Ew. I see. Okay, that's the gate. This is where they all go. Who? Wisps, I cannot go in there. Not yet. Agnes was not supposed to go in there either. If we go in there, we will not come back. If you must, I'll go with you. Let's go. No time to waste. We gotta save Agnes. We gotta save Agnes. It's so pretty though. Oh. I'm ascending. <gasps> Beatrice. It's been such a long time. Ah! Uh. That's how it ends? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, Bram, long distance emotional sport. I love it, but. Huh? I actually have. So she. F the person who was speaking to us was Agnes, I'm guessing. So we found Agnes, but by going in, it means that we died. So that's how it ends? We come back to our hometown and we die? Okay. Faber. 50 minutes long of playtime. I don't know what to say about it. It was short. Yes, it could have been a short game in general, not not minding what how it goes or whatsoever, but it ended too abruptly. Like I understand, I caught the point that if you go through the portal, you die. But I thought there would be more after that. I guess, unless there's multiple endings that I don't know about. Unless there's multiple endings. It was cute. It was very aesthetically pleasing. It really gave the whole fairy tale kind of vibe. The music was very soothing. It really helped give the mystery vibe. It's like if you like Sherlock Holmes, it really gave the mystery vibe. The fairies were very cute. I liked how they were all different and how they all had their like even if even though most of them didn't talk, they all had their own personalities, obviously. It could be a bit more fleshed out. Like I was talking about how the school was kinda empty, but now it kinda makes sense why it was empty. Because there's just not much to go off of. Then again, it is a free game. Um, I wanna check out the other game, the animation workshop, it's called the animation workshop in Denmark. There are a bunch of students who um create their own games. And Fabro was one of the winners. And I'm kind of excited to see what other games were in that were in the workshop because I'd like to see more, even though they're very short, which is great. I kind of enjoy having a short game instead of a very, very long game every single time. But having a short game once in a while isn't bad. I just wish it was fleshed out a bit more, but it did have a start. It did have a middle, it did have an end. I'll give it a 3 out of 5 stars. I wouldn't give it higher. A 3 out of 5 stars is this game. 3 out of 5 berries. 3 out of 5 berries, because we're on Berry Blast channel. Thank you for coming in for this video. Leave a like, leave a subscribe, um, leave a comment down below, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!